द फोर फंडामेंटल फोर्सेज ऑफ नेचर ए फंडामेंटल फोर्स ऑफ नेचर इज एन अट्रैक्शन और रिपल्सन बिटवीन ऑब्जेक्ट एज डिस्क्राइब थ्रू फिजिक्स हैज आइडेंटिफाई फोर बेसिक टाइप्स ऑफ दिस इंटरक्शन which together describe every action we see in the universe the four fundamental forces of nature are at the root of every interaction between fields and particles in the universe from walking on the street launching a rocket into a space or sticking a magnet on your refrigerator the decay of atomic particles to the drift of entire galaxies physical forces are acting all around us without these forces all matter in the world will fall apart force as such is an any pull or push that causes an object to alter its physical state but all the forces that we experience every day be whittled down to just four universal or fundamental forces gravity the weak force electromagnetism the strong nuclear force let's know more about these forces first gravitational force Gravitational force also called gravity is the attraction between two objects that have mass or energy it is the weakest force in all fundamental forces whether this is seen in dropping a rock from a bridge a planet orbiting a star or the moon causing ocean tides sir isaac newton was the first to propose the idea of gravity supposedly inspired by an apple falling from a tree he described gravity as a literal attraction between two objects according to the newton's law of gravity it a state that the gravitational force between two bodies is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them but two centuries later in 1915 sir albert einstein suggested through his theory of general relativity that gravity is not an attraction or a force instead it's a consequence of objects bending a space time a large object bursts on a space time a bit like how a large ball placed in the middle of a seat affect that material deforming it and causing other smaller object on the seat to fall toward the middle gravitational force is the force responsible for holding planets in their orbits and this is possible because of their infinitely long range how gravity holds planets stars solar system and even galaxies together it turns out to be the biggest of the fundamental forces especially at the molecular and atomic scales gravity has almost no effect relative to the other fundamental forces when considered for massive objects like the sun or giant planets gravitational force is considered to be as strong as the masses of these objects are also large on an atomic level the mass of atoms and other fundamental particles are very little so forces applied by these particles are also big The revolving of the moon around the earth the formation of tides in the ocean is due to the gravitational force number second the weak force the weak force also called the weak nuclear interaction is responsible for particle decay it describe how the quarks that make up nuclear particles can change from one form to another the force is carried by particles called w and z bosons the weak force acts over an incredibly short distance equal to about 0.1% of the diameter of a proton When a particle such as neutrino comes right up close to a quark the weak force causes the quark to change by sending out a w boson this can turn a neutron into a proton and a neutrino into an electron creating a whole new element in this process physicists describe this interaction through the change of force carrying particles called bosons w and z bosons are responsible for the big force electromagnetic force and a strong force when some atomic particles such as protons neutrons and electrons come within 10 raised to the power minus 18 meters or 0.1% of the diameter of a proton of one another they can exchange these bosons as a result the sub atomic particles decay into new particles the weak force is critical for the nuclear fusion reaction that power the sun and produce the energy needed for most life forms here on earth number 3 electromagnetic force the electromagnetic force or electromagnetism also called the rolentin's force acts between charged particles this force is both an attractive and repulsive force between charged particles like negatively charged electrons and positively charged protons objects of like charges repel each other will objects of unlike attract each other the greater the charge the greater the force and much like gravity this force can be felt from an infinite distance the electromagnetic force consists of two parts the electric force and the magnetic force 
the electric components acts between charged particles whether they are moving or stationary creating a field by which the charge can influence each other but once set into motion though charged particles begin to display the second component the magnetic force the particles create a magnetic field around them as they move so when electrons zoom through a wire to charge your computer or phone or turn on a tv the wire becomes magnetic these have a long range and the effect of their forces diminishes over distance due to the shielding effect however subatomically they have short range and are considered strong force but are still bigger than a strong nuclear forces the electromagnetic force is responsible for some of the most commonly experienced phenomena friction elasticity the normal force and the force holding solids together in a given shape these action can occur because of charged particles interacting with one another number 4 the strong nuclear force out of the four fundamental forces a strong nuclear force are the strongest attractive forces the electromagnetism holds matter together but there was no explanation on how the nucleus is held together in the atom if we consider only electromagnetism and gravity then the nucleus should actually fly off in the different direction but it doesn't implying that there exists another force within the nucleus which is stronger than the gravitational and electromagnetic force this is where nuclear forces come into play a strong nuclear forces are responsible for holding the nuclei of atoms together the strong nuclear force also called the strong nuclear interaction is the strongest of the four fundamental forces of nature it's 6000 trillion 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 times stronger than the force of gravity and that's because it binds the fundamental particles of matter together to form larger particles it holds together the quarks that make up protons and neutrons and part of the strong force also keeps the protons and neutrons of any atoms nucleus together much like the big force the strong force operates only when some atomic particles are extremely close to one another they have to be somewhere within 10 to the power minus 15 meter from each other or roughly within the diameter of a proton it gets bigger as sub atomic particles move closer together it actually reaches maximum strength when the particles are farthest away from each other protons in the nucleus repel one another because of their similar charge but the residual a strong force can overcome this repulsion so the particles are stay bound in an atom's nucleus so i hope you learned something in this video if you have any question please type in comment section and share with your friends and family to support me so see you again in next video for then bye bye